Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn. Now, in the last episode, we built this lovely little mining area. So it's got an extractor or excavator. Sorry, I always say extractor for some reason. It's got an excavator. It's got a mining facility and it's got dirt piles and a station to build terrains. So we're still carrying on with this production facility, but but I need to get a robot here because I need to see how they work so that I can design this town or this district around robots because I am planning to not have any beavers in this district at one point and yeah so I need to make sure that I've got everything that the robot needs in order to survive so in order to get our first robot we need to finish up production areas and start getting some materials over to here so we can at least build one or two robots and see what we're playing with so what we're going to do in this episode one we are going to destroy all of this uh mountain not the buildings and make our little pathways with bridges and stuff like that and have something leading off here so we can connect to a, a living district if we want to make one there we're going to add, add treated planks production some storage for planks and wood and all that stuff. And last but not least, we're going to irrigate this area. So there's quite a bit to do. There's a lot of explosives needed. Let's get right into it. So the first thing we need to do is blow up this area, right? Now I can take it off pause. Let's pull it on fast. Let's get things going. Let's blow up all of this, all of this. And yeah, I think that's fine. There is um, one thing I did learn about the excavator is that I, I believe it actually does dig the ground. I thought it didn't. I thought it would just give me unlimited dirt, but apparently it actually digs down. So I didn't need to make holes. <laughs> I actually wasted a lot of dirt there, but that's fine. We can uh, let it do its thing once it's done. We shouldn't need that much dirt in this playthrough anyway. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So while they're doing that, the way I'm going to irrigate this area is I want to get a stream of water going down here and it's going to go underneath the ground here, here and out. And it's going to drop into this little pool area here. So how are we going to keep that during droughts? What we're going to do is that we're going to make the places that we want to irrigate two two levels down and then the rest of it one level down so that when the drought happens it keeps us a pool of water keeps the place irrigated and everyone's going to be happy so all i need to do is make a way up here because they can't scale walls like spider-man and maybe i'll put this in the wrong place maybe i should have put it on this side okay with that bit done we can actually decide where you want to get the water from for now, I just want it from here. So I'm, I'm only going to blow up this bit for now. Um, we'll blow up more and make it neater a bit later on. And then that's going to come along like that. To there. And to there. I'm going to go all the way down here. We actually need to move this because that's in the way. Let's get the builder's hut. That is a builder's hut, right? Yep, that is a builder's hut. Let's put you there. Let's put that as top priority. All right, so that's gonna be our sort of pathway. You can see all the dynamites here. This pathway is gonna move forward down here because as you can see, I've got a little grid here that I'm working with. With that in mind, Everything's going to move forward. Yeah, that, that is fine, I believe. So while they deal with all of that, let's design our treated plank area. Now, I'm going to make it right here. You've got to remember the path is going to move forward a bit. So I was thinking something like this. We need storage. It's going to be underground storage. Like so. And then 
get some monuments in there because why not? Can I put... Oh, look at that. I can. Absolutely amazing. I need to get power in here as well. Can't forget power. And then we are going to have pathways here like this because the path is going to move forward. And we'll get some bushes going. And then maybe when the path moves forward, we can do something else as well. Maybe put some fence in or something like that. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out like we always do. Okay, so let's get this blown up. And I'll show you what I mean with this one here. That was pretty satisfying, wasn't it? <laughs> that was that was pretty satisfying. So this ones are going to get a little bit deeper because they need to hold the water in times of drought. We need to go down here as well. I need to do it all the way around here. Once we put some terraform in here as well, we'll pull it here as well. So we're going to irrigate a lot of the area. We are going through our dynamites pretty damn quickly. Okay, let's get this and just keep it going. Do that. And I am going to get most of this done and I'll see you guys in a sec. And with all of that done, we've got our little irrigation grid, I'm going to call it. We've got, uh, we've deleted all this mountain here so we can make our little pathway. And we've got this up and running. And what I've done with power, I've literally just connected it to this, which is uh, pretty quite, pretty nice. It's all, it's all right. It's all right. So let's see. Oh, I haven't blown these up yet. Let's get back into that. Let's blow that up. Now I've got this ready. Let's see if this irrigates properly. <laughs> let's see if everything goes fine or is it going to flood? Look at that. Does that look pretty cool? Doesn't that look pretty cool? Okay. There's something wrong here. What is wrong there? Oh no, it's just filling up. So this is the lip. So it's going to come back up here. So that's fine. That will eventually happen. Yep, yeah, there we go. It's happening. It's happening very slowly, but surely. And just like that, We've got everything irrigated. Ain't that just lovely? Now we're gonna have a drought, so that'll be good to see how that works out. Uh, let's get some more dynamite in here. And then we're gonna put uh, some plank platforms there. Now I did need to increase this because this is not a 10 by 10. It needs to come from here to about there, I believe. I think that's 10 by 10. So we'll have to get some terraforming going soon enough and we'll get that once we get some robots all right let's fill that in we also got to think where we're going to put um foresters and lumberjacks or lumber mills all right so let's quickly make this bridge here because they can't access this area not that they need to access this area because they can't actually use it at the moment it would be nice if we get this sorted so let's delete this we're gonna bring this down by one, I believe. And then put another one here because we need to connect the bridge to it. We can do something like that maybe. Now oh, look at that, perfect. And then once we start making some sort of living area, we'll have it so that there's bridges coming off here as well. But like I said, I need to get robots because I want to see what they require, what are their maintenance so that we can build around that. So yeah, I think that's going pretty well. Let's um, let's get some trees down because I do want them to start getting some products done. So the first thing tree we're going to do is most of the, these two here. Let's just go straight like that. And we're going to need 
a forester. Now this is not going to be the the perfect location, but it'll be it will do just for now. Look, that won't even fit. <laughs> that won't reach everything. If I do that, that will reach everything. But we definitely can't leave that there. I'm thinking of expanding this out and maybe putting him on this side and this side somehow. But once we clear up this area, we can figure that out. So let's do that and we're going to put some lumberjack flags. And that'll take three of my beavers, which is not too bad. We can take away this builder's hut because we've got more, more than enough builders right now. We're not building an amazing amount of things, are we? So that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, let's bring you down to one. No, actually, let's just pause you. Oh, look. They, they go straight into there. Nope. We want to go into here. In fact... Yeah, okay. So none of them are high priorities. Let's put this as a medium high priority. And that should all get done. So... What do we need for our first um, robot? And I should actually get some pathing up here for now. Because there's nothing that can... It's not connected to anything. Eh, I'll figure that out when we get robots. So, let's take a look. We need potatoes. <laughs> so I need to make some potatoes. They've got water here, so that's absolutely fine. For one machine. Because all I need is one right now. We need two uh, people. We need two bots. Uh, chassis, two heads, and four, four limbs. I thought that was different. No, that's how much it can hold. Sorry, my bad. We need one, one, and four. I'm pause that. So, we could get one of these going. I think we could just get one of each going, to be fair. So let's pause everything else. We're going to have to send beavers over here. Alright. And we're going to just do the same for this. Alright, so all that's paused. How many beavers do I actually need? One, two, three four and five and then once I've built most of it I can put them in here and get them building this stuff maybe I'll get them doing this one first actually just fill it up a bit so we need sunflower seeds and maple syrup oh, oh. so let's start getting some distribution down there I don't even have sunflower seeds or potatoes I need to sort some stuff out. Okay, let's... Where's my closest farm? We could put some stuff here for now. Because we don't need this many berries. To be completely honest with you, we don't need that many berries at all. So let's delete all of that. And then we'll put some sunflower seeds and some potatoes here. Now, do I need to cook the potatoes? It doesn't look like it. So that's great. That's absolutely amazing. Okay, with that done, what are we needing next? So we've got this sorted. Let's actually get this in the distribution center. So if we go here, add a new route, we can put some potatoes. Not grilled potatoes, just normal potatoes. And then we need maple syrup and sunflower seeds. So we could put some maple syrup here. Do we need logs? I don't think we need logs, do we? Because I can actually get rid of that if I don't need them. It doesn't look like we do. Do we need it anywhere here? Nope. I don't know. So we can get rid of the logs as well. There's just no point having them there. Oh, I have, I've already got rid of it. Okay, cool. There's just some stock. So let's put sunflower seeds. And then I think that's pretty much it. They've got metal blocks, they've got gears, they've got planks. 
I think I think we can actually be fine. So I'm going to send five beavers from here over to there. Now let's migrate to district. I really got to name these. <laughs> district two. Let's put one, two, three, four, five. We can pause this bad boy. We can pause this bad boy. And they all should be making some sort of uh, materials. I cannot wait to get the first first robots done. All right, so we've, all we've got to do is literally wait for this to grow. That's going to take a couple of days. That's going to take a couple of days. And um, yeah, let's get that done. Okay, this is a, an historic day. We're about to get our first ever lovely robot. Oh, but, but uh, that ran away <laughs> too fast. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Look at that bad boy. Oh, can't find him. There we go. I really like that. Um, that noise they make. Okay, let's take a look. Condition one. So it needs bar fuel. It needs catalyst, and that increases the condition. I'm guessing. So. What condition is it in now? It doesn't actually say. Is this the next condition or is that what it's doing now? Hmm, I'm not sure. But it looks like they don't need anything. Where are you going? You're just chilling. So can you go, ah, look at this. Oh, I need to unlock with science. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. No. How much science have I got? I've got 19k science, so it's not too bad. A thousand science. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Um, 2,000 science. This is already unlocked. Okay, that's fine. That's already unlocked. Okay, let's send this guy over to this district over here then the one robot get you down there and then so we've got the robot here so do I need to do it for each building let's what do I want first okay let's get um one of these done now oh, okay oh, okay good so now does that work for all districts? So if I've done it there. Okay. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. Okay, that's not too bad. So I can just unlock everything, right? And that means it can go and work there. I love that sound. <laughs> um, yeah. So what else needs to be done? They need to be able to work pretty much everywhere. Mm. I've done all of this, done that. Oh, these bad boys here. And lumber mills? Oh no, you can just do that. Okay, cool, cool. I'm, I'm feeling you. Farms. Yeah, that's fine. These ones over here. They can just already do that. Science. Oh, they cannot work in science. Makes sense. Um, last thing, I think that is it for now. Oh, these as well. And medicine places. They can literally work pretty much anywhere. Oh, explosion. Oh, we need to bring an explosive factory over to the, uh, over to this area. <laughs> I forgot. I completely forgot about that. Okay, I think they are done. So, guys, that is all I have time for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.